What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the True Church of Jesus Christ, where this Latter-day Saint sitting in the flesh, so full of stool and urine. And this time, he's going to be preaching the Quran, and he's not going to get so angry. <laughs> and just utterly enraged, because the earthlings, the conditioned souls, the worldlings, they don't read a damn thing. And it infuriates me. You know what's so infuriating? Is the fact that people don't read and our whole world is based off of this crap. Other people's thinking. And because other people's thinking has based or built this world, when it's common sense rubs up against other people's thinking, that's how you have a whole bunch of problems because other people's thinking is usually garbage and common sense always prevails because it is a common sense in all individuals. So when uh, other people's crappy thinking overrides common sense, we're in this problem, quote unquote, together. But uh, don't take responsibility for society. First, I would never kill someone. Uh, well, committing adultery is something I didn't know about in the first place. You think you just fornicate with anybody anyways. But I wouldn't do that if that was a part of the Lord. I wouldn't steal off anyone. I wouldn't lie to anyone. That's the whole thing, too, about this work is don't take the garbage that society gives. You have to build up your own person, be firm in your own convictions of what's true to you. Because all society is, is memes. Garbage ideas, other from human beings own garbage minds. And that's the thing too with coming to truth, is only truth exists and abides in your mind. Because that's all there is, is truth. Coming to truth, you'll wash out the human garbage. You'll wash out the ideas. And that's why I have to sit here and read the Quran for the worldlings. Because they don't read nothing themselves. Which is what infuriates me. So you have this society built off people that can't read. And then the whole world is based off of things that no one understands. It's very lovely. I didn't... <sighs> that's why, like, being born. I cursed my birth. Why the hell was I ever here to begin with? To... To just be in misery. <laughs> That's why the Lord's scriptures. To take us out of this world. My mission is not to bring peace on earth. But the sword. To bring us back to God's transcendental kingdom. So man could fornicate around here if he pleases. But my mission is to spread not peace but the sword. So that's why the earthlings are messed up. So we'll just get into the Quran anyways. Before I get enraged. I, reading scripture should be, you know, uh, enlightening, not enraging. The reason why it's enraging for me is because no one understands anything about God's work. And then people kill in the name of God. They do everything in the name of God. Meanwhile, they don't even follow his commandments. And they don't even worship Jesus Christ or believe in the Christ event. So you know what would solve uh, the problem of our economy right now? is to make these fucking churches pay taxes. They have no business... I, there's nowhere in scripture where God's like, oh yes, my church is exempt from paying taxes. So I don't know why the worldlings are allowing this to happen. Or why that they think these buildings are holy to begin with. Do you think God cares if a church gets blown up? Absolutely not, because that's not where God dwells. God doesn't dwell in a building. Acts 17, when Brother Paul says that to the Greeks, God doesn't, he's not worshipped with man hands and the things that he could build you are the temple of the living god your own individual body so you don't have to go to church and in this day and age the churches need to start paying money for the land that they're on and that's just the simple truth you know what would stop this effing crap about our society and all the crap being so expensive over the past five years is if you have these effing assholes start paying taxes there's nowhere in, that's why i'm reading scripture i read all of doctrines and covenants didn't say there that God's churches are exempt from paying taxes. I read all the Bible. It doesn't say that God's anything is exempt from paying taxes. The New Testament with Jesus Christ, it doesn't say that you're exempt from paying taxes. Actually, he paid Caesar what Caesar's do. Yeah, he did. So he's not exempt from paying what Caesar pays or what's demanded of him as well. The master gave what Caesars do. That's also in the Bible. So I don't know, I don't, you know, the, the whore of Babylon, that whole whore, 
the old whore that's making everyone drink of her cups, you see? That's the institution. That's the fucking church. God doesn't exist out in the external world, people, or else we would have peace. You could walk into an effing church right now and have the abundance and grace and harmony and wholeness of the Lord, but it doesn't exist in any church. <coughs> So the worldlings can't solve their problems on themselves because they're too corrupt. That's why this message and the second coming of Christ is what's going to absolve all this garbage that human beings cannot do. And at the same time, righteousness, as it says in the Quran, you know what righteousness means? It means worshiping the Lord, following the scriptures, believing in his prophets. It doesn't say anything about not paying your taxes, eating pork. That's righteousness in front of God. Listening to the scriptures. And that very important one is worshipping his only begotten son that came on earth. That's righteousness. doesn't matter what you shove down your throat. It doesn't matter what you read. If you worship the Lord properly <laughs> in this, how to know God. Look at this little book. That's all you need to do. The scriptures. There's nowhere in scripture that tells these effing assholes not to pay taxes. So that's what infuriates me. The working man like myself, who hasn't made any more than minimum wage, and who's fucking killed himself for other people, and is left with nothing? Oh, well, that's because the whole world doesn't pay their fucking taxes either. There's no excuse for a human being to be living on the fucking street or in a hole in the ground. None. None. The excuse is all on the human being. The human being loves to watch movies, so he spends a trillion dollars being entertained every year. While he's got other human beings, he walks by the movie theater, and he just totally disregards anyways, because he wants to go see The Rock instead. So the human being is ridiculous. He'd rather live in a hole in the ground and watch other people live holes in the ground, and be impoverished at the same time, not do anything about it, but he'll still go run to a fucking movie and watch his sports too making other people rich and an industry rich as well to a trillion dollar empire the sports entertainment industry nba nhl and people want to cry about being fucking corporate slaves stop watching your fucking tv that'll help stop fucking watching sports that'll help if you want to do things that'll help the fucking world stop belonging to these corporate fucking people the people are so goddamn fucking stupid and hypocritical. They all hate this corporate structure, but they fucking indulge their time and effort in it. They can't fucking live without it. Their phones and whatever fucking shit they're watching too. So that's why there's problems in the world, especially with motherfucking money. It's all about money. People are wasting their goddamn money. Trillions of fucking dollars being entertained while they're, on, while they're fucking starving too. Lovely. I ain't going to read the Quran right now. I'm just going to fucking rant a little bit. And then I'll read the Quran. This is the point now where human beings are fucking dying out there. Turkey, they had a fucking earthquake. And those people are doomed anyways. 20,000 fucking people died. Who's going to help them? Nobody. And do you think $10 million from fucking Canada is going to do anything? It might build them a fucking apartment building or something. It ain't going to do shit. So the worldlings now... Let's say if that fucking catastrophe happened in the United States, some big fucking earthquake, what are you going to do? Watch sports? Go on Netflix? Yep, that's what the fucking earth, that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to try to keep on going with his life, you see. He thinks that's what fucking life is all about anyways. This is what I'm tired about, the human hypocrisy, is they're in hypocrisy. They're all crying about their corporate oppressors. But yet they watch fucking TV, they buy all the fucking shit every year, every day, and every fucking season of the goddamn day. If you motherfuckers are buying cell phones every fucking three or four months because of the season, I didn't know there was such thing as a cell phone fucking season now. That's contributing to the corporations. Oh, but what about the corporations? <laughs> Meanwhile, you're walking around like a corporate entity. Why can't the human being live without these corporations to begin with? Oh yeah, that's right, because back in the day, his fucking oppressors, Sigmund Freud and Edward Bernays, made the attachment to objects to your fucking pitiful minds. So you think you need these things to live, especially your fucking entertainment. I know people love to be entertained. They sit there and watch fucking nothing in their empty heads anyways. And they don't realize the fucking second coming of Christ and the judgment day of the Lord. 
So that's another thing. If your church, whatever, that's not paying fucking taxes is not teaching you. That's because they're in ignorance anyways. And the Lord doesn't operate in ignorance and hypocrisy. That's why there isn't any enlightened people in the church. Enlightenment? What the fuck is that? That must be some fucking shit that some asshole believed 2,000, 3,000 years ago. Well, actually, it's John chapter fucking 1. And if you don't have that light that enlightens all men, well, guess what? You're going to hell in this new fucking testimony. That's basically what the Quran's all about as well. If you don't believe and have faith in the one that sent him on earth, the hell with you. And the hell with, as it says, most of fucking humanity. The angels are going to come and kill one third of these fucking people. The one third are the basically the fucking dead dirt sinners. The people that have been the corporate thieves, the fucking pedophiles. All those are, it's not just the fucking sheep first. The sheep... The Lord's going to salvage the fucking sheep of the world, the dumb, ignorant, and stupid anyways, that don't fucking know any better. He's going to save those fucking people. But the ignorance of the fucking world, that's what the angels are going to destroy one-third of humanity for. The fucking bloody ignorance that we sit here and fucking struggle and die for every day. Why do we struggle and die every day? Well, because some fucking corporate asshole doesn't want to pay taxes. Some fucking rich piece of shit doesn't want to give his money. So when that happens, right, let's say if there is a catastrophe in the world, are you going to go fucking watch TV? <laughs> are you going to go buy your video games? Useless people are involved in useless activities and affairs. And that's why the society, as you can see, doesn't do anything. And that's why Canada on the wide scale is a fucking joke. No one takes this country serious because the fucking people don't do anything anyways. The, the, now the people over the past 30 years are just mostly immigrants taking the benefits from this fucking country. So you think they're going to cry about anything when they're getting fucking everything out the ass from the government? It's the people here that are suffering anyways. And the people here that don't have shit and suffering, there's, it's just hopeless. The government ain't going to fucking help you. Their only solution for people is just get a job. Well, that's not the case with the Lord. If you can't do those things of the life, seek the Lord. All who are weary, heavy laden, and burdened, seek the Lord. You don't have to seek man and his fucking charity and his useless endeavors in the first place. You can't get anything good done in this fucking country. Why? Because people are too stupid, especially Canadians. And half the Canadians are fucking immigrants enjoying the government system and benefit anyway. They're not going to ever fucking... All those people are licking Pierre Trudeau's ass for the fucking $500 a month for a kid or $2,000 a month for fucking whatever. They're not going to say that that's fucking corrupt. Oh no, it's not. It's helping people, remember. Oh, yeah, fucking helping them, all right. And this country as well, too. The only thing that's going to get more money is one t thing as well is uh, these corrupt politicians start giving the paperwork for the marijuana industry that just happened in the year 2018 that they're not ever, you know, no, oh, it's just in this country, right? They probably made a fucking fortune and never told anybody about it. And now th the country's still fucking in shambles for some reason. And it just created a new income stream five years ago. People are buying dope like fucking no tomorrow. And where's the, there's no, none of that's in the news. None of that. None of that of how that money can help generate and help the economy, help people, increase funded. None of that. Now in Canada and Ontario, they're trying to cut fucking health care from just the average person and privatize more of that shit for the rich fucking assholes. And who's going to fucking do anything about it? You can't, because that's their game. That's their fucking politics. That's how corrupt politics are. You can't change what fucking some asshole has set in motion from 50 years ago. This isn't even their plans. It's just something that, it's a system that's that's been in operation for a long time. If you think that, like, your government is being uh, new in their ideas or changing things around, it, it's just, a, they're all trying to save fucking money they're all trying to do something as a plan from 50 years ago that we don't even know about anyways. These countries don't operate in the people's interests whatsoever. Especially now when you got the world in, in, in this situation in Hamilton, in on, Ontario, sorry. They're trying to cut more money away from the people in general. And I don't, in, this, in this fucking society right now, they're building condominiums 
for rich foreigners because the fucking people here can't afford nothing. Half of them are on fucking welfare. And they can't afford a condo that just has been built. So that's another thing, too, with Ontario. No one knows about the economic stability of this fucking place because there's no jobs and they're building condos. Oh, but people are going to buy it, all right. Well, I don't know who the fuck's going to work. <laughs> Some foreign asshole can buy this fucking shit and live in another country, sure, but that's your politics. That's people. That's people that are just corrupt, but they're useless minds, useless thinking, and they don't lift up any spiritual values at all. And they don't even think this is real either. So that's why the great judgment day of the Lord is at hand. That's why the world is crumbling. That's why there's so much evil in it. That's why there's so much unrighteousness in it and lack of truth. Men have fallen far from God. It's in John chapter 15. They're a branch cut off from God and withers and dies. Why? Because they don't follow his rules. It would be so easy to follow the rules of charity. Everybody could have theirs on this planet Earth. There is no fucking excuse why anyone has to suffer. Especially financially with resources. That is despicable. And you want to call yourselves human beings? That's fucking despicable. You're not human beings. You're gutter trash. You're fucking monkeys. You know what makes you a human being? Is if you lift up the son of man in you. That's the only fucking thing. Because a human being, yeah, he's going to bite, devour, consume, and make the other fucking human beings live in a goddamn hole if he wants to. But not one that's conscious of the principles where they can't let other human beings live in holes and fucking make them starve. Man's an animal, a, dis a disgusting animal, especially the ones in high power, where all they do are just fucking hoarding money, being corrupt. Our prime minister's fucking giving money to his goddamn family and stealing fucking charities, but the people here don't give a shit. They still watch their hockey night in Canada and drink their fucking coffees anyway. Like, it doesn't even matter. That's why this country, people piss on it. They just come here and do whatever the fuck. Canada's a, a, that's why it's a joke. It's a fucking joke where this country is being raped by its fucking resources from the states and being taken advantage of by corrupt politicians while the people here are drinking their fucking coffee and watching hockey. Good for you, you fucking dumb pieces of shit. That's the problem with this fucking place is these goddamn fucking nationalists, like the regular people, they identify themselves more with their fucking hockey and coffee. And that's why they're making the Toronto Maple Leafs fucking rich and the rest of the fucking people are starving. You stupid bastards are giving too much money to fucking entertainment. You're not doing nothing for your own backyards. What the fuck is your hockey stick going to do in a Maple Leaf jersey? Nothing. It didn't pay for anything and it never will. You're just making some other rich corporate cocksucker fucking rich. Yeah. So when things happen now, you see, in this life, what if fucking shit happens in Canada? Earthquakes, disasters, bombs, threats, anything. What, what's going to happen? You think the government's going to take care of you? That's a fucking joke. First off, they're hoarding their own shit, and they got their own fucking racketeering extortion business going on. Where they're looking to funnel money away from the people anyways and privatize it to more rich cocksuckers. And you think they're going to give you something to help your fucking shit when things go down? That's why welfare is 700 fucking dollars. They haven't changed welfare in 20 fucking years, and they've diminished what they give to people. They won't help poor people. The solution for poor people is get a fucking job. And if you don't like that, go live in a fucking hole in the ground. Well, the Lord will raise you up out of material conditions. That's unacceptable in the eyes of the Lord. Ridiculous material conditions. And the Lord will raise you up into his atmosphere of consciousness. And he will provide for you. That's just a message because... You wait, I wake up every day and I smell the shit of the world. And it's all over the fucking news. People killing each other, raping each other. That's the filth of humanity. And that's why the master's coming back. The second coming. In this life, what my message is, I don't give a fuck if you don't believe it or not. You got to avoid everybody like the fucking plague and seek the kingdom of God. If you don't, you're just a useless person with fucking shitty ideas in your head called human memes. And guess what? You're already fucking dead from the first fall of grace and your life is already useless without fucking God. That's a transcendental truth. 
That's why Jim Carrey walks around like a fucking asshole saying, you know, nothing matters anymore. If it didn't matter, you fucking piece of shit, then give all your riches away. Oh, yes, it matters to people. <laughs> That's why they're fucking crazy. And when you have crazy lunatics in this fucking society with hordes of money, as you can see, this is why society is fucking stupid and corrupt. Because everybody else is useless, si swimming around in their fucking riches of filth. And they can't do nothing for themselves anyways. One cocksucker like him can fucking change humanity too. He's got millions of fucking dollars. And that'll help a lot of fucking people. If he hates Hollywood that fucking much, give it all up, you bastard. You fucking insane piece of shit. With, I'm telling you, without fucking God, you're a useless human being. Doesn't matter how rich you are. Doesn't matter how fucking great your shit smells. Look at these minds out here. Insane with all the fucking things of the world in it. Thanks.